my people, my peeps. So I'm coming at you guys today to talk about clean air and having good air in your home, apartment, or even if you're in your vehicle, get a plant, a real life plant. Now for me, trust me, I, I'm, I'm not the green thumb grower, the gardener that you may think I am. But I wanna tell you about some plants that if you're not the gardener or um, you don't have time to really take care of a plant, what plants to get and what I've researched. And I hope this helps you as a TI. So let's get right into this video. This plant right here is called a white lily. So it actually is a flowering plant that has beautiful white lilies that come up. But you see these big, broad leaves that it has? This is an air purifying plant. So it actually purifies the air in your dwellings, wherever you are. Get one of these bad boys and they will help you out tremendously. I used to buy, um, you know, uh, fake plants <laughs> and decorate my home. And all they did were, they were lint collectors, okay, and dust collectors. No. Get the real deal, holy feel. <laughs> Y'all youngsters don't know about that, holy feel. But anyway, yes, you still want to take care of your um, leaves, like taking some water and, um, you know, maybe once a week and just wiping off the um, leaves of your plant because these are your filters. These are the lungs of your house, okay? So this is a white lily. I got it a couple of weeks ago. You see some new babies coming up. This one right here, and these get big, guys. These get big. And I'm gonna update you guys on how this goes. <laughs> okay, so this is a tea, tea, tea plant, or tea. It looks like a tree when it grows. So you, I mean, it gets like six feet, and not maybe five feet, or something like that, the lady was telling me. This also, I believe, is an air purifier. I still have to do some research on this particular plant, but it is really pretty, because it has the green, and the um, red um, coloring in it. And it also has babies coming up. You see that little baby, they're sprouting up. You can see. So yeah, this, this one, I don't think I, I cleaned this one today. But I've had them over a week now. So just wanted to show you what you can do to add to your home to you know, at air purifiers without the electronic ones. Hold tight. We're gonna go and see some more plants that you may be able to add to your home. Now I'm back. Um, these plants are actually gonna go into the living room. And I have my house shoes on. I don't know if that got caught on film. <laughs> but these plants are actually gonna go into the living room. But right now they're, they're, they're kind of too wet and um, you don't want them to be as wet as they are. You see how dark that soil is? That's showing that it's too much water in that soil. So these plants right here are called mother-in-law tongue plants or um, snake plants or they're succulent, okay? So they're like a cactus, but they're very pretty. Um, and if you forget to water them and the soil dries completely out of these plants, no worries, okay? Because these plants actually like to dry out. Let me get a better angle on this one. I mean, you see, and they get very tall as well. So you see the floor, and this is all the way up to past the um, the edge of the windowsill. So they get very tall, but they're very pretty. And these are air purifiers as well. And these are called mother-in-law uh, mother-in-law tongue are snake plants and these help purify the air and something that is very easy to take care of now when i noticed that um one of the plants looked like it was having some issues i'm gonna show you in a minute what i did okay so over here guys is my provigation station Prov hey i might be pronouncing that all wrong <laughs> But this is like the cuttings of the plants that you're trying to grow and regrow. So actually this ivy, I don't know, is this an ivy? Look, you know what this is. This is like the basic house plant that everybody has seen in, in, in homes. It's one of the easiest plants to grow. It was actually in one of the mother-in-law plants, which dries out. And I know this particular plant cannot dry out. 
So I took it out and I started over in a smaller like pot just to, um, so that I can repot it in its own pot. And um, this plant is called a elephant, elephant bush. Uh, you've probably see, seen these plants before. They actually, um, they make those little plants, those little uh, trees called um, bonsai trees out of these plants. But then they also can, you know, uh, what is this, hang down or whatever they call it. So that was in one of those plants. I took it out. This also is a succulent. It can um, hold water in it. It's a survival plant. Elephants actually eat this plant. Humans can eat this plant as well. So I hope I hope this survives. <laughs> Here are some mother-in-law plants clippings that I took out of the old plant. I mean the new plant, but the bigger plant um, to see they're wa they're in water. So they are actually doing a water provocation y'all help me lord help me lord with these pronunciations okay so uh yeah we're gonna follow this uh these are all air purifying plants okay and then you've probably seen this one in one of the pots that i showed you before y'all know this is aladera you should have that that one um wasn't doing so well so i put it in the smaller one to start it and its own plant and then there goes some more um what is this plant called? Y'all put it in the postings below. I can't remember the name of that. So I put that one over there. And here's some more mother-in-law plants that are started in water. So we're gonna see if they grow some roots. Some roots, roots. Okay, so let's get to this one right here. I wanted a snake plant, not a snake plant, a spider plant, because that's another air purifying plant. And when I went to pick up the plant from the lady, I did, I don't know my plants, guys, like I said before. She gave me this. I picked it up because it looked like the plant I wanted. No, sir, no, ma'am. This plant is actually a, um, it still had the thing in it. Hold on, let me pull it out. Okay, it's a variegated flex lily. So this is a lily as well. I have to do some more research on this particular plant because I don't know if it's an air purifying plant. I know it gets huge because most people put it in their yards. Uh, yeah, but this one's gonna stay in a pot. It's gonna be a potted plant. It was flowering. You see these little flowers on here. I don't know if it's an air purifying plant. In some way, in some form, I know it can purify the air, but not as stronger, as a, a greater quality as these, um, mother-in-law plants and see how i i think they're pretty our snake plants if you want to call them snake plants i i i think they're really pretty and if they're easy to take care of and they're helping you with your air and your breathing more power to it so anyway i'm going to keep you guys abreast of these plants and i suggest you get real plants to put in your home your car your whatever and sturdy plants. You know, if you move around a lot, you can pick it up and go. All right, guys, much, much love.